Hi, I'm Deanna Springer. And I'm Dana Casey with a Fun Stitch It Sisters sewing project and time-saving tips by Nancy Zeman. First, let's look at the project we're making today. We'll be making the Potholder Plus, a fun potholder project with a little bit of bias trim. And some cookies after. Right, <laughs> right, you, you're looking ahead. <laughs> the Potholder Plus is made from uh, afternoon picnic fabrics by Riley Blake Designs. We're using two coordinates, a little bit of Pellon insole fleece, Pellon wrap and zap, interfacing, a six inch piece of grow grain ribbon, and Clover's Bias Tape Maker. Showcase your style and inspire your kitchen decor. And the sewing couldn't be simpler with just a few squares of fabric and our easy sewing techniques. To make this Potholder Plus project, we're going to use rectangles of fabric. I've chosen the Riley Blake Afternoon Picnic Collection in a floral and gingham. We'll also be using Pallon Insel Fleece, Pallon Wrap and Zap, and Pallon Soft Shape Interfacing. We'll need a six inch piece of ribbon, and we're going to make some bias tape from Clover's one inch bias tape maker. That looks like a great tool to have. I've made bias tape for years and burned a lot of fingers in the process. To make the Pot Holder Plus, we'll be using fabric squares. I've cut outer fabric eight and a half by seven and a half. The inner fabric that you see here is cut eight and a half by 10. All the remaining materials are cut eight and a half by 10. So we have an outer fabric for the back of the pot, pot holder plus, an eight and a half by 10 inch square of insole fleece, and two layers of wrap and zap from Pellon, and a little bit of Pellon soft shape to give the pocket a little bit of stability. So from those squares, we'll cut out some pattern pieces included with the No Hassle Kitchen accessory pattern. Our pattern pieces that you'll cut out. From the squares and rectangles, cut out a pocket, and from all those layers, you're going to cut out the potholder pieces. I have them stacked in the layers that we'll be using. First is the main fabric, one layer of the wrap and zap, and wrap and zap is a cotton batting, and cotton batting does not conduct heat like a polyester batting would. Oh, okay. So that's why I like to use the wrap and zap. In the middle is the Pallon insole fleece, and that has a heat barrier quality to keep heat away from your hand. Looks like something you'd see in outer space. It could be. <laughs> We have another layer of Pellon Wrap and Zap, and then the backing or, or backing of the pocket lining fabric. So we'll take all these fabrics, and you'll you'll have them aligned, and you're going to wonder clip them all together. Again, you'll you'll align yours a little bit better than I did, and you're going to take that to the sewing machine, and you're going to stitch a basting stitch all the way around the outside edge of the pot holder. So we have the first element ready to go. The next piece is the pocket, but we need to finish off the top of the pocket. In order to do that, we're going to use Clover's one inch bias tape maker. I've cut my fabric a scant two inches, so just under two inches okay. to make one inch tape. And take this to your ironing board and advance the bias tape maker and press with an iron. So simple. It makes it fast and easy and accurate. It's always a consistent one inch. When it's folded, then you have half inch binding. So we need the half inch binding to make the top of the pocket look finished. The first step will be to clip the bias tape to the top of the pocket and then go to the sewing machine. And we're stitching right near that crease, that fold. And then the next step would be to go to the ironing board and wrap that binding towards the back. And I do use some wonder clips for this too. So you'll go back to the sewing machine with a second line of stitching and your pocket will be finished. The pocket is then placed 
on the layers that we've already assembled. Like a sandwich. It's like a sandwich. <laughs> and we'll go to the sewing machine, but first I like to clip this in place and then go back and baste all the way around. It may seem like I've already basted this, why do I need another step? This could shift, so I like to do that extra security stitch and keep things in place. And before I go to the sewing machine, I'll add the loop on the back. And this is just a hanging loop and it's optional. If you keep your pot holders in a drawer, you wouldn't need the hang tag. Okay. So we'll baste all the way around and then all our layers will be secured. We need to finish the outside edge with some bias tape. On the pocket, we just have raw edge bias tape. That will be caught in the next step. So just like we did, two rows of stitching to fasten the bias tape to the pocket top, we're going to fasten the bias tape to the outside. Okay. So we like to fold under. I actually learned this from Nancy Zeman. Nancy always pre-folded and pressed things and it made things turn out very nicely. So press over one half of an inch. And again, wonder clips are the, the key here. You'll clip all the way around and then stitch. At the sewing machine, stitch the binding outside edges to all the layers. When you have the binding sewn in place, you'll have a little bit of a overlap, you'll trim this away with the scissors and back stitch. And when you turn this and press, everything will be enclosed. Wow, no raw edges and no hemming. Right. I'm sure you'd like to know why it's called the pot holder plus. I've been wanting to ask that the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> this acts as a pocket for your hand when you're in the kitchen, but it also, also makes a great gift. Oh, you can tuck so, a little bit of gift. A little bit of gift for a new homeowner. There you go. Welcome to the community. <laughs> the No Heffo Kitchen Collection pattern is available at stitchitsisters.com. Choose one light fabric, one dark fabric, and batting with insulating and heat barrier qualities. We've also assembled a limited number of Stitch It Sisters bundle boxes that include the afternoon picnic fabrics that we're using today, along with the Pellon insole fleece and no hassle kitchen collection pattern. Tune in again for another Stitch It Sisters sewing adventure.